Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I thank you for listening and I just wanted to express my thankfulness to those who have sacrificed on behalf of our country on this Memorial Day. I also want to say thank you to Jesus who paid the price for our forever freedom. Before I do share, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior and he came to earth in the flesh, died on a cross, and rose again after three days for your salvation and for mine. I wanted to share something that the Lord put in my heart for this hour. We are intentionally watching for the rapture, and we are moments away from our deliverance. But opposition and birth pangs are intense. Perhaps you are facing an impossible battle and just hanging on, waiting for deliverance. This is for you and for all of us who are waiting as the Bride of Christ for his appearing. In the book of Esther, there was a battle to take out a whole people group. It is a great book to read, and I suggest that you take a little moment and read it. There was going to be a genocide of Queen Esther's people. Esther found herself in a battle that she didn't want. Her people were about to be brutally killed. Through a series of events, she had been elevated to be the queen, and yet her power over circumstances was not yet tried. When the evil plot to destroy her people was revealed, she realized she had been chosen to speak, to act boldly, which put her life in danger. If she failed, she might be put to death, or at least banned and removed from being the queen. This happened in, to her predecessor, it was an intention and an intense decision that she had to make. She chose the hard path. She humbled herself before God, fasted and prayed, and asked for others to do so. And in the end, her people were saved and her enemies destroyed. The Lord spoke to me this morning in my quiet time about the power of grace and humility in these final hours. Grace is far more powerful for every day life than we realize. Here's what I felt he said about Esther. Esther came before the king in great humility and her petition was heard. Her life depended on the grace that she hoped for. The grace was from the father who extended grace to his servant. Esther, and which was revealed at the very moment she needed it for a crisis. The king received grace to be merciful, and Esther received the power of grace to stand. This grace continued until all of her enemies were destroyed. The power to receive grace in a crisis can unfold into the salvation of many people. In all circumstances beyond our control, submit to God first, as Esther did. Be humble and ask for God's intervention. In the moment we need it, God is able to turn the hearts of kings on our behalf. The rapture is our ultimate desire, and some of us are really facing mountains so intense they seem impossible to win. When there is no hope of scaling the peak and coming out safe, God tells us to ask for his power of grace and humility. We can expect the power of grace to show up at the exact moment of crisis. This is faith. What's your battle today? You are his children. Ask for the power of grace. God continued to share this word with me, which I'll share with you. He said, my children, my beloved bride, be bold in your witness. Be strong in the face of opposition, because great is the Lord who defends you. Like Esther, be bold, yet humbly ask for grace in the defeat of your enemies. Walk as though you are children of the King, but come humbly before me. The anointing of God you receive will break every yoke. In these last moments, your battles are fierce. Some are life-threatening, but you live in a position of power. Remember me, how I walked in the world with the opposition that faced me. All of my enemies failed. 
The key, my children, is to walk knowing me and releasing my power of grace. That's what he said. What an incredible encouragement for these last moments before the rapture. Jesus is coming. The battle is ramping up. But grace and humility will defeat even the strongest enemies. Finally, I want to say, rebuke the enemy. He is roar a roaring, prowling lion without teeth. He just wants us to believe that he is stronger than he is. We have the King of Kings as our father and protector, and he will release his grace for the moment you need him. Jesus will gather us soon. In these last moments, be bold. Be victorious in his grace. God bless you. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.